So, Apple might have delivered the ultimate iPhone upgrade this year as it introduces big improvements to battery life all across the iPhone 13 range, but we were intrigued to check out one of Apple's battery life claims in particular. See, Apple itself does three different battery tests. It tests how long each iPhone can play back video, then it tests video playback times for streaming, which is different, and finally it tests audio playback. So the most relevant one of these tests is the video streaming test because nobody plays back video on their device or very few people do. So streaming video is something probably all of us do and it's a very relevant test and it just happens to be one of the tests that we're doing ourselves. So looking closer at the numbers that Apple provides, Apple claims that the iPhone 13 mini, this little tiny guy in the lineup, actually lasts longer for video streaming than last year's big boy iPhone 12 Pro Max. Just look at the size difference. This is really a shocking claim. In fact, here are the exact battery estimates that Apple provides on its own website and all of that just sounds a bit too good to be true. A mini iPhone to beat a Max iPhone in just a yearly update, is that even possible? So we had to test this out ourselves and luckily we happened to do a video streaming test as we mentioned and we test all phones on it, not just iPhones. So we have been doing this test for a few years and we don't know how Apple exactly tests this. It never explains it anywhere and it didn't reply to our request for a comment. But our test is pretty straightforward. We just used YouTube, the most popular video streaming app out there and we set all phones to the same level of brightness and we play the same playlist in the same resolution to just drain the battery. Pretty straightforward. So right here you see we have lined up no less than 9 iPhones. We have the iPhone SE on the left, then the 4 iPhone 12 models and finally on the right the iPhone 13 family and all of them like an army of tiny robots is playing the same playlist and it's really mesmerizing. So let's see what numbers we get and does the iPhone 13 mini really outlast the 12 Pro Max? We won't make you wait the full length of the test, it takes long hours, but we'll fast forward to just show you the results that we get. So first phone to get the black screen is the iPhone SE and we check the time, it has only lasted 4 hours and 45 minutes, it has the smallest battery of the bunch and that's really expected but also that's really just bad and watching YouTube melts the battery on this phone. But that's not the phone that we care about, so let's keep on going and next up the iPhone 12 mini taps out at 5 hours and 10 minutes, which is a bit better, but not by much. So let's keep on going, fast forward and... Wait, what? The next phone, the black screen is the iPhone 13 mini. We check the time and the supposed Apple champion has lasted 6 hours and 20 minutes, which is a good hour and a bit more compared to the iPhone 12 mini, so it is indeed an upgrade over the previous mini. But compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max that it was supposed to outlast, well, the Max one still keeps on going. So fast forward again and first the iPhone 12 and very soon after the iPhone 12 Pro die consecutively with about 6 hours and 40, 6 hours and 50 minutes, which is a decent score in our books. The iPhone 12 Pro Max, by the way, is still going strong. So we diligently wait until now we see the black screen of death on the iPhone 13 model and we record the battery result of 8 hours and 15 minutes, about an hour and a half more than its predecessor, the iPhone 12, which is again a very good upgrade. And then the iPhone 13 Pro is the next in line and it finishes at exactly 8 hours and 26 minutes, so again a more than decent upgrade over its predecessor. At this point we have only two phones left and both are the Pro Max models. So we patiently wait until we finally see the black screen of death on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and we look at the clock, it's lasted 8 hours and 37 minutes of non-stop video which is an excellent score. So the winner is the iPhone 13 Pro Max obviously, let's wait out and see what score it will get and it finally bites the dust much longer after that and it's been 10 hours and 29 minutes since the start of the test which is very impressive good job on the iphone 13 pro max and once again here are all the results for all the iphones by the way we have run this test a couple of times behind the scenes to ensure we get consistent results 
So let's go back and check Apple's claims. First, you have a claim that the iPhone 13 mini lasts longer than the iPhone 12 Pro Max for one particular test video streaming, the same one as we do, just probably different methods. Apple claims 13 hours of video streaming on the 13 mini versus only 12 hours on the, tw on the Pro Max. But we really don't know how Apple is getting those numbers. And while we're not saying that Apple is deliberately lying about battery life on its own website, we can definitely say that there is something fundamentally wrong with its results and they just don't match to real life usage. No way you can get more battery life on the 13 mini compared to the 12 Pro Max in real life, no matter what you're doing. And that should be evident for anyone who's used the new mini for a while. In fact, the opposite of what Apple says is true. The iPhone 13 mini lasted us 6 hours and 20 minutes for video streaming compared to 8 hours and 37 minutes on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And that's a pretty big difference, 2 hours and 17 minutes. So it's 36% longer battery life on the Pro Max in this particular case. So to sum things up, it just seems that all the rest of the numbers from Apple's video streaming test don't really line up with reality. So Apple claims that the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is the champion here, it claims that it lasts 25 hours of video streaming, which is twice as long as the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And in real life, the results are nothing even remotely close to that difference. Yes, the 13 Pro Max lasts longer, about 20% longer than the 12 Pro Max, which lines up perfectly with the about 20% increase in battery capacity. But the difference is nowhere close to being double that of the previous model as Apple claims. Of course, we don't expect the secretive Apple to tell us how it measures video streaming battery life, but what we can confidently claim is that the number it shows is disconnected from reality, from the reality of video streaming from barely known apps like, you know, YouTube? <laughs> so that's the story about the iPhone 13 battery life numbers from Apple itself. It's really just added more confusion rather than help anyone. We have all our battery test results in the link in the description, so check them out. The iPhone 13 series and especially the Pros are special in terms of battery life, but not quite to the extent that Apple's own test claims. So what is your personal favorite model of these new ones? And would you still get the mini even if it doesn't quite outlast the iPhone 12 Pro Max? Anyway, thanks for watching. A sub to the channel will help us keep making more videos like this one. My name is Vic and I'll catch you around.